Aaron, what what uh what were you riding this week at TAC? What's the uh, winning machine here? Winning machine is a 2021 Kona Hey Hey. Big updates. Uh, this is new, I guess. I got this last May. And honestly, the biggest thing I was stoked about is like double bottle cage, which sounds kind of lame because it sounds like such a like weird thing to be excited about, but it makes such a huge difference. And then, I mean, obviously they had to update the suspension to make that happen and it, it rides way better now. So kind of, I guess those things together. All right, how much, how much drive does it have in the rear? We're, it's 120, 120. Um, perfect bike for stage races, I think. Uh, I got like a 150 millimeter dropper post and uh, one by 12 drivetrain, so like pretty standard stuff. Um, but yeah, 120, 120 makes a big difference and like sure it's not super light XC rig, but uh, that's not what you want here in the land of East Coast Would Rocks. Do you do a different setup for different races that aren't as uh, technically demand? Uh, not really, just because like I don't have a bunch of different forks to swap out and like I just love the way this bike rides. I mean, the slacker head angle just descends like way more in my style. So yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't really change a thing. Besides road is you. Uh, I don't know why guys don't run 180s up front, but I run 180, 160 like all the time. Um, yeah, you'd probably get away with it for XC stuff, but stage racing, it's just so nice to have that extra bit of control. All right, the most important question, we've already talked about this off the record, but tires, dude, and tire pressure. So, so. I'm a beefy tire guy. I like uh, a little bit more volume, so I was running the 235s. I've got a 2.2 on the front because I flatted and I didn't have another 2.25. But uh, I got the Icons on, I like a beefier tire. And then I run higher pressure here. Like Tom's been ridiculing me all week. I run. I wouldn't say ridicule. I've been. Running I resemble <laughs> that remark. <laughs> I was running 26 and 24, which is it sounds pretty high, especially like so, with so big you're like tires. How, like how much do you weigh? I mean, that's the key thing. Like you. I weigh 155. Okay. So 160. So that would be a high pressure for a low weight like that. Right. But at the same time, like there is a high flat consequence here, and. I mean, like, I didn't flat this week, and there was a lot of... Do you say you have liners? I do have... That. This is new. I've, I, this is the first time race I've ever ridden with Kush cores or any liners. Front and rear? So I ran front and rear. I just didn't you feel, I mean, with that much pressure, do you ever feel like you were close to flatting? No. <laughs> it was pretty sweet. I think that's why I ran them. Like, a lot of guys run them so they can run lower pressure and, like, get the extra bit of grip, but uh, it just... Here, five days, like just not. Maybe if it was doing an XC race, that makes sense. But yeah, just not here. Do you do you train with that that pressure? I like, do because oh yeah. I, I mean, in the past, I've never been training with liners, and so it feels like a more supple tire anyway because you don't have that. Um, and yeah, I just like don't like to flat. Granted, like I probably with this pressure since I like raced XC with narrow, narrower tires back in the day, you know, my my mid and early 20s. I'm 30 now. So and, old. Yeah. So that was when like two twos were big, you know, two five was like really big or two two five was really big. So yeah, I think I'm just like used to running a higher pressure from those days. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously it doesn't, doesn't hold you back. Do you have to like adapt your riding style to running, you know, something that's not as supple as the other guys who are flatting all the time? <laughs> yeah, I have to like always be willing to charge by myself when they're back there fixing their <laughs> fixing their life. No, I just yeah, I don't know. Like the biggest time it makes the most difference is when it's wet, uh, like today. So I actually ran twenty five, twenty three today. Yeah. And do you, do you measure like digital gauge? Like do you know it's like exact, or or do you just kind of it's like relative based off? I have a gauge. Okay. It's a uh, it's not digital, yeah. but it has numbers on it. It's accurate. I use the same one all the time. So it's accurate to itself. Oh yeah, the, the biggest question, like if this were on bike rumor, we'd have to know what the weight is. Oh, oh. 25.5 with outliners. I think they added one 150 a piece, so 300. So 25.5 plus 300 grams, whatever that is. Yeah. All right, anything else we're missing here? Uh, oh.
custom Sherman engraved lizard skin lock on grips here. That was really the key to victory, I think. Sherman was with me all week.